Anyways, let's take a look at this game. We have a 1500 level game. Play random mirror only. Okay, okay. Like force pick random? So you force all your opponents to play mirror? <laughs> Actually evil. Um, but anyways, it's all good. Uh, it is a balanced game. Every time you go mirror, you can only blame yourself if you lose. Um, no, if it just if they pick, we go mirror. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, all right, well, your opponent's off to a bad start with the eight seconds idle TC, but it happens. Now, this map is pretty good, so we have back gold, and look at all the wood lines that we have to choose from. Even this in the back. Oh, that's so good. Easy walls here. You could probably wall to the berries and then just like wall like this. Go to here, go to here. Oh my god, you you have like a corner of the map. You even have deer in the back. If you don't push them, you could just TC here, take the deer later. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Like stone in the back too. You're completely safe. Berries forward is not the biggest deal as long as you don't build farms around it. And as long as you're not poles, then it's kind of fine. It's somewhat fine. These golds are a bit awkward in the middle of the map though, so... Eventually, you do need to push out. That's for sure. So, as the Armenians, this sieve is the one that has cheaper mule carts. Um, which is kind of nice. So, they cost 75 wood and 10 food, I believe? Or is it 15 food? Maybe it's 15 food. Um, yeah, I think it's 15. 75, 15. So, it's kind of a weird building that costs food. It's also a weird building that has a donkey attached to it and can move. Um, so yeah, or it's not a donkey, it's, it's literally a mule, it's in the name, but uh, anyways. Um, okay, so, yeah, opponent is not having a good time. You have to force drop a lot with this sieve because they, no, wait, it's the other sieve that you have to force drop a lot with the Georgians because they start with less food, right? These guys start with same amount of food as normal. Um, you just have to keep the TC running. There we go. Um, okay, how's the scouting? Where is the scout? Scout is chilling back here. So, I mean, if you're going to push deer, we got to push deer. You'd ideally have a couple of deer already pushed, and then you'd be able to go scout, but we're chilling. So that's definitely something that you can work on, is just keeping the scout working. At 1,500, if you're still lacking that skill, that means you're pretty good at other skills. So that's the next big skill to probably work on, is that multitasking, keeping the scout always moving. And in general, it, it kind of filters into keeping your military always active as well, which is very important. I think it's crazy you can drop hunted food off the mule cart. Yeah, uh, which means that you can drop any food off at the mule cart because if you just turn your dudes into a hunter before dropping, then they can drop, right? Um, opponent, uh, yeah, he took two uphill hits, so he only took 15 damage. I don't think sending the vill here is good because, I don't know, it's already too far gone. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Oh, it was just like a rally point thing. You had an idea, but it was going to fail. Oh, man. Will you be able to... Oh, oh, he took took another... He took a regular hit. No, no, you get in front of him, yeah. Okay, he's going that way now. Don't attack the boar. You want to have your scout attacking the uh, the scout. There. There. No, no, no. Don't... don't ev never hit the boar here. Never tap the boar. Ever. It doesn't do anything. There. It's fine. Misclicked a lot here, yeah. Well, you denied the the lure, but now you have three random vills in the middle of the map. I mean, you could build a mule cart out here and just take some gold and then just send them back with the mule cart. <laughs> it's actually funny, but you can. Yeah, that was a little bit awkward, but not not the end of the world. He he idled for two villagers. You idled only for 15 seconds, which is not great, but it's not bad. Two vills is pretty bad, so you're very ahead. Um, and we can see the resources collected. Look, you're like 200 resources collected ahead in a mirror matchup is insane. That's like Ethiopian bonus you just get for free at this point. 200 resources. Nuts. And this sieve also can make spearmen in this age. Not that you would do that, but you can... Are you going to go for long swords? I don't know. I, I feel like feudal long swords is a throw to open with. But you could definitely go for them maybe at some point. 
Like you could open skirms or something and then go into them at some point. I don't know, it would be really awkward to get to. What do you think about the TC range mode? But mo it's not even a mod anymore. Like the TC range, that's just built into the game now. So it's it's legal. Um, yeah. I think the mule cart, yeah, you'll be able to get the mule cart even half a tile closer. And then it can be, it can be right up against all of them. Yeah, oh, it automatically moves a bit. So you have perfect efficiency on all three of these tiles. So mule cart, kind of cool, because it doesn't have to be on a single tile. Um, ooh getting a little close to these. This baiter boy, he's baiting him to the uh, garrison. Sick high level play. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go men at arms, it's fine. If you keep them alive, you have potential to go long swordsman. I was playing Armenians earlier, and I was gonna do that, and then as long sword was almost finished, I proceed to just throw my men at arms into his army, and then I canceled uh, the long swords of upgrade at least, but yeah. Um, I guess long swordsman upgrade isn't that expensive anymore. It's still, like money that you don't really have, but you know, it's all good. The two militia rush or two militia, two militia map control pressure into range is, is just a really nice play. The French rush, it's quite good. Um, okie dokie. And well, your scout needs to be here. Scout needs to not ever be away from the militia here. They always need to be here. Yeah, uh, if you're gonna commit, commit. Kill the one vil. Yeah, you will kill the one vil. There's no way he gets out unless you miss micro. There we go. And now you run. No need, no need to throw your guys here. Look, like you're wasting HP. You will never get that. Now we just run. Don't, don't trade HP against these because you just get owned. Might as well just go back. Ha! <laughs> they just stack on this patch. It's kind of funny. He's like literally in the the scout. He's He's like doing the, the Flintstone car thing. He's just a acting as the legs. Oh my god, okay. Uh, well, you're on the hill, I guess. Losing the scout's a bit sloppy, but that guy's almost dead. Honestly, I would just trade this guy for that guy, maybe. He's gonna die, so I would have taken a full, full hill hit there. Anyways, oh, he still dies. Oh, he actually got a swipe. Well, Archer definitely needs to not be in the middle map, but luckily his scout is weak. Now take the high ground. Yeah, take the high ground and just shoot. You kill him, he's weak, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, that was fine. He's going longsword. That's such a bad play. Oh my god. Why? It's so expensive. These things are just gonna die to archers. It's like they if they were feudal squires, okay, they're sick. Without feudal squires, they're garbage. Just go back to the TC. Yeah. You're gonna get Fletching. Fletching's pretty important here. But yeah, these long swordsmen, they're not even scary at all. You don't even care. Like, whatever. Such a, he's just making more. He's gonna get owned, actually. Wait, why are we adding a stable? You know he's committed on long swords. I guess you're thinking he could go skirms, but, well, I would not ever add a stable here. I would just add more farms. We have horse collar too, so it's like just, that's like three farms that could have been added, or just whatever, but it's not really going to contribute. Maybe you make a scout, but I don't know. I don't think it's really necessary here. I think you add the stable when you confirm he's going skirms, but he's not. Well, I guess he is, but you don't know that yet. We need a micro. With, with these, you do have to get close to the units. Okay, anyways, you won't lose anything to the uh, long swordsman if you just run. Yeah, get that one pick off and then just run. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, you, oh man, go this way. Wait, why are we going deeper? So, you know he's on skirms, so no sense in going deeper. Yeah, and that's what happens. That was a really good play by Red to do that. He planned that. That wasn't a quick reaction. That was like him him knowing you're going this way and him sending the Vils preemptively. So that was really well done by Red. Um, I mean, the stable's not even being used, so that could have been three farms earlier, which would have been giving a bear, much healthier economy. Ah, <laughs> yeah, debated by the longswords. Yep, gotta get used to it now. 
no palisades in this in this space. We're all about real buildings. Crazy amount of idle time for both players, though. Honestly, it's it should be very close to zero. It really should be zero. Um, there was no time in which idling the TC was worth anything here. So, yeah, we definitely definitely have a long way to go when it comes to just the macro. Idle time is my kryptonite. Yeah, yeah. It's really... I don't know if it's a hotkey issue or something, but you really need to be just spamming that um, the idle TC or the select all TCs button or or your TC hotkey or whatever, however you do it. Also, patrolling across the map is pretty much what you should be doing almost every time. So, uh, yeah, neither of you guys should have gotten super surprised by that, but your opponent was paying a bit more attention. Yeah, this was just a bad fight. What should have happened is you should have... Instead of go like this, you should have just gone back to this hill and reset. There was no reason to try and loop around the skirms. You can't loop around the skirms because, like, you go this way and then he goes straight. So he's always going to catch your archers if he's microing properly, which he is. This guy this guy knows how to use his units. Um, your best course of option... Op best course of action would have been to come back to this hill because it was like a straight shot, right? So right here, you didn't see it. Okay, you get you get bamboozled. Okay, fine. He comes this way. You go up the here, and then you go back to the hill. You go back this way. We don't we don't want to go this way with the archers because his skirms are gonna get here really fast. We go here, and that's where the reinforcements are as well. So if we group up with the reinforcements, then we easily win that. Oh boy, you definitely don't want to go long swordsman to get or uh, scouts against long swordsman. Oh, how did you get close to him again? That's both players just not using the patrol hotkey. Anyways, you you win this though, and the long swordsmen are way more expensive than what you're using here, so it's fine. Oh, he doesn't even have ecotex. Like Armenians without the ecotex, uh oh, because Armenians they benefit extra from the ecotex, so you need to have the ecotex. Um, yeah, opponents kind of just self losing this game because he just has no eco so much idle tc and making long swordsman you're gonna be able to click up here in a sec oh we forgot about the llamas uh oh uh oh that's gonna be bad yeah so i'm seeing that you're not really paying too much attention to your units I would say that doing a little bit more um, unit control exercise while macroing, like while ecoing, is going to be really useful for you. So I would recommend loading up single player. There's a nice exercise that you can do. Uh, you can um, just have a scout lame like the AI's boar and throughout all of Dark Age, and, and, or at least try, try and have the scout being chased by the boar for as long as you can, even into Feudal Age if you can. And just try and spend the resources while your scout is being chased by the boar. Something like that. Or you can go in the scenario editor and give a scout like unlimited HP or something like that and see how few hits you take. Something like that. Um, but that would train... That would train the uh, the skills that you need, I think, really well. Okay, going for your own long swordsman, probably not the play. I would say just staying on on crossbow would have been great. These things can be fine, but they're pretty expensive to get to. I guess I guess it'll work out. You're so far ahead, right? You're so far ahead, it's it's probably fine. I mean, if you get to two-handers, the two-handed swordsman, the only thing that they have over the long swordsman here are is plus three attack. So. It's not a big upgrade anymore. You used to get the pierce armor from them, but now they gave pierce armor to like to the uh, to the long swordsman, or did it? No, they gave it to the the skirms or, or the men at arms, right? They, I think the men at arms didn't even have it, right? Back in the day, I'm pretty sure long swordsmen didn't even have. I can't remember. Or was it melee? Oh, okay, it was melee. Yeah, yeah. I'm misremembering things now. No double bit axe, yeah. Red is kind of getting wrecked. I would say you want to have double, um, 
Bosaw with this Ziv for sure. Pretty much 100% of the time, you want to be getting Bosaw because it just works extra. It, it, you just get so crazy wood income. Um, but yeah, matching his long swordsman, I don't know. I guess. But you were perfectly set up to just go crossbowman, which would have been very good. All right. Oh, wow, we have enough for a castle. All right. Um, I would say two TCs in a castle is kind of weird, though. I think having a third TC down and then maybe going for a castle would have made a little bit more sense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what does this really do? We're not even using it. You could make some composite bowmen, though. They ignore armor, so you don't really need as many upgrades. You have fletching already. Gambesons, not going to be useful against his swordsman. So I would say that instead of gambesons, I would rather have iron casting. Or just more units. Well, this castle's so weird, though. Oh, he's going to give you a Maganel, though? All right. Did he go Gambesons? Uh, no. It's not good. It's, it's, uh, it's only good if you're about to go under his TC or you're up against the range units. Wanted to go unique unit. Well, yeah, you can, but I mean, you're, you're already going on two-handed swordsman though, so you can't just do both. It's not gonna be enough of either. And now it's like, you try and do both and then he just commits on the swordsman and he's just gonna have more and then win. Where are your guys? Oh, 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 this is kind of bad. The llamas, how could they, how did they get out there? What, they were like back here. Look, we just have less. This is a numbers game, I mean, he just has twice as many guys, so taking a bad fight like that is questionable. But yeah, not having this, and just having a third TC earlier, and just making swordsman, or just making crossbowman, like you have to just choose, choose something. We can't go too many things all at once. No, Monastery. Oh, yeah, Monastery um, Monastery makes... Is it the work rate up? Or is it uh, the free mon free relic with this Civ? This is the free relic Civ, right? And the Warrior Priest Civ. Okay, he's going to let you kill the Mangonels for free. That's kind of nice. Hey, that works. Okay, you should win this fight, though. Unless you take a fight on the hill. No, now he has more. Now you back up. All right. Well, I mean, he has more. Like, he, he literally has 29, you have 17. So we need to we need to read the fights a little bit better. And we're not making... Uh, I mean, it's... You had the hill, so it's okay. But I don't know. He has better upgrades, too. He has iron casting. All right, nice. You were just too far ahead from the early game. Honestly, like, the fact that he just doesn't even have a double Bidox is why he lost this game. I think he made the better decisions in general, but... Um, you just kind of had the better eco management, but there's still a lot to improve. No monastery, free relic. Yeah, the free relic's really good. Uh, he said GG and he's not GGing. What is this? Fake GG. You're going to be imp though. Imp for what though? You already get champion in this age? <laughs> Yeah, just put this on his face. You could put it actually in his face here. I don't really... Did he like DC? What is he doing? He's not... He's going... Oh, no, he's making stuff. All right. Yeah, like you have map control. No reason to place it here. You place it... Place it like on this hill. This this just gives your opponent time. First time I see... It. Yeah, fake GG. Uh, it happens. It's like some... He's, he was like, okay, the game's over. But then he's like, oh, actually... Okay, what's the plan here? We're not making trebs for some reason. There's a treb, but I mean, we need to be making trebs from both. Capped ram? You don't even have any rams. All right, he ended the game. Like, capped ram is very questionable click there. If I'm thinking of priority upgrades, I'm thinking, okay, what do these boys need? We need to get these guys a new suit of armor. We need the armor, we need the attack. Capped ram for nothing. Anyways. Expected archers a long time ago. Yeah, well, he was—he had a lot of these um, 
swordsman, so there was no way he was going to be on archers here as well. But yeah, GG. Lack of scouting. Scouting. Part of scouting is just attacking your opponent too. Uh, anyways, if you have any questions, I can answer them. Like, what should I have done in whatever situation or whatever? Ooh, you're as fast as I am, pretty much. Not my best game, just felt like a fun one. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's good to submit those ones where it's not the, the greatest. I think that the unit control could use a lot of work and just controlling units while building your base. That's one of the hardest skills to, to do in this game is basically just, it really boils down to adding farms while you're microing your units. That's the, the, the kind of the basic stuff that if you can get that down, you'll be 1800 in no time. Often lose army while fixing my eco. Yeah, well, we need to have the army control grouped. And if you're not sure where his army is, click them back to a hill or something and then go eco and then jump back to your units, something like that. You have to have a mental idea of where the opponent's army is so that you can make the educated guess as to if you can look away for like a minute or whatever, or not a minute, but like 10 seconds or whatever. If you know, say, like say that I'm attacking here and I'm attacking here and I see his guys here. Okay, this army moves back. These guys go in and then I macro, like something like that. I Because I know his army is going to take a while to get back over here, something like that. Um, you just have to be making a mental note of where the opponent's army is and then kind of estimating how long it's going to take for him to get to a certain area and uh, yeah, then react 